1230, 92.1 WROI, WROIFM.com. We are streaming audio live on RTC Channel 5. We are streaming audio and video live on RTC Channel 4, which stands for Rochester Telephone Company. Hello, Scott. Good morning, Tom. Scott back in the studio with us. He's had his own coffee cup and everything ready to go. And, of course, if you have a smartphone or an Android Download the TuneIn Radio app, take us wherever you happen to be going, which today would be to First Federal Savings Bank, where, yes, indeed, you will say hello to Dick Belcher. Good, Good morning. morning. Good morning. It's going to be a great weekend. It is going to be a nice weekend. And That's we right. may get a shower this afternoon. That would be a good thing. Yeah, we, we could use a little shower. Talking with some of the area farmers, though, they aren't too upset about the rains that we've had so far this year. No, they're they're purring like a kid. <laughs> uh, this one but, wasn't but purring. See, but farmers <laughs> never admit that things are pretty good. It's always pretty bad. Pretty bad, right? Well, yeah. you know, the heat. The yeah, heat. Right. Heat. The heat. It's been warm, right? Well, the humidity. Oh, humidity. But that Absolutely. Make, that makes things grow. Yeah. Yes, it does. Yeah. Sure. However, I was in Warsaw yesterday. They're really dry over there. Are there they? are some areas that are really dry. And, of course, when you're dry and you get all this heat, it uh, really hurts. gentleman I was talking to the other day said there are spots in Fulton County that are very dry, too, particularly towards the south. I think you're right. Okay. I don't know. He, he, he probably was correct. We've been, uh, we being Fulton County, has been very fortunate this year to get yeah. timely rain. Yes, we and, have. Uh, as compared with last year when we got untimely. Right. Too much rain. Right. So. We got uh, good crops probably coming, and that's why the price is going down. That's called supply and demand. It is. Working. Okay, well, it's going to get about 82 today. It'll be a nice day. And then possible sure. showers. Yeah, that'd be good. And state fairs on. It is. Yeah. Talked to Leanne, what, a week or two ago. And yeah. We're rolling. Mm-hmm. I see on television there this morning they're checking all the rides to make sure they're safe. <laughs> That's a good thing to do. Yeah. <clears throat> Pence endorsed Paul Ryan. Yes. His his uh, boss, Mr. Trump, did not. He has not yet, right. Probably will, but hasn't yet. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, uh, it's interesting, yeah, uh, for lack of a better word. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Did you see the uh, publication of the Indiana unclaimed uh, publication that came out yesterday? I've noticed those before. I didn't see yeah. yesterday's. 25 pages. All I know, there are yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, and uh, you can go online right. at indianaunclaimed.gov yeah. and see if your name's there. They want to give that money back oh, to yeah. you. There's, they really do. They thousands, try hard to do that. thousands of, not millions of bucks. There. Right, right. Check your name, see if it's there. Get your money. That's right. Spend it at the bank. <laughs> or put it in the bank yeah, or put something. Put it in the bank. You, you don't spend money at the bank. That's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Okay. Well, I see Rochester Downtown Partnership got their 501c3. Mm -hmm. Good thing. Yeah. And I see we have a new awning out here. Yeah, Tidewater Tax Service. Looks very nice. Yeah. Now, those funds, how did. How did that happen? That's a grant of some kind through the downtown partnership. You know, I Scott? Think. A grant. A grant. <laughs> he's just a wealth of information, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, let's ask Scott. Mm -hmm. We'll find mm -hmm. out. Okay. Uh, Olympics. Yeah. To start tonight. They do. The opening ceremonies. <laughs> when you see the pictures of down there in Bolivia, <laughs> and all the garbage on the floor. Oh, I know. Woo. I know. Going to be interesting. Interesting run. Yeah. Okay, a little trivia. When did the modern Olympic torch relay begin? Was it 1900, 1936, or 1960? Wow. We'll work on that, right? Okay. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here's another uh, little trivia. Okay. I've got two more trivia. Oh, good. Okay. I'm afraid we're going to run out of trivia. Okay, go golf has come back this year. It has. How many years has it been gone? Okay. Uh, what's You got a third one now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rugby is part of the Olympics this year, but when 
was the last time it was an Olympic event. Was it 24, 1924, 1954, or 1984? Okay. Rugby. Rugby. It's like, who cares? Rugby. I never played rugby. You ever play rugby? I did not. No. You did not, know. no. No, that's, that's a rich man's game, I think, isn't it? Well, it's pretty physical too, isn't it? Yeah, well, kind of like a football. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like football. If it was physical, I would not want to. Get it. <laughs> it's football without the pads. Right, essentially. There we get some wisdom finally from oh, Scott. Man. It's just emanating from that side of the room, isn't it? Just coming this way. <laughs> wisdom. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to the other room. <laughs> okay, we got. Colts playing Green Bay Sunday. Yes, Hall of Fame game. You're going to carry it? 8 o'clock. Kick off at 8 after the induction ceremony. Now, are these guys really going to play? Oh, yeah. Well, for a few seconds or plays. or You'll probably see Andrew Luck for three three plays maybe. Maybe a few more if he gets a first down in that. But I think one series and he'll be gone. Hmm. Much okay. What's your prediction for the uh, Colts this year? Ten and six. They were eight and eight last year. I think they'll win two more games this year. Yeah, yeah. You know they've got a game in London this year. Do they? Yes. I've mentioned this a couple times. The logistics of getting an NFL team from Indianapolis to London. Yeah. Pretty uh, pretty severe. You got to plan well, a lot of things. Well, a lot of clean socks. I mean, you got to take those with you, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, Division One football practice has started. Yeah, producing the hunt, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in the hunt. <laughs> well, you're going to be better than last year. Come on. Yeah. Okay. Well, we we got a really soft schedule. Oh, okay. We have. Is that because you had a bad year last year? Yeah, and okay. we've scheduled Ansella College this year. <laughs> Argus High School, right? Yeah, it's still in Argus. Argus soccer team? Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, big article in the Star this morning with <clears throat> Mark and Burks talking about right. plans to 2020. But, but he won't be there. He's leaving, right? No, that's, uh, he's, he's writing all these things in the sand, and then he said, goodbye, <laughs> I'm out of here. <clears throat> He's friend of yours. Well, we we have an acquaintance. Yeah, yeah. We have. A, I had him on the radio. Once. I know. I remember that. Yeah. yeah. You should get him again, just kind of a, to, to talk about his tenure at Purdue. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's That's not a a, he's not as popular down there as he used to be. <laughs> okay. okay. Since since he made the last selection of a, a football coach. Ah. Okay. If he'd have contacted some but of then, us guys. But then he'll be popular again if they turn it around this year. Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's all yeah. a matter of winning and losing. It's about as likely to happen as the sun's not coming up tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's move right along. Yeah, well, we Welcome probably guests. should, yes. We have important guests to talk to here in a minute. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Fulton County Animal Adoption and Education Center hosts a Clear the shelter event, 10 to 4 tomorrow. Yeah, that's a nice event. Get a bargain on a right. pet. Right. Can I trade my pet in? My <laughs> you got bad doctor. credit? Bad credit? No, his name is Good Credit. Good, Good credit. credit. Good credit. But he's 16. Ooh. Oh, wow. So okay. I, I, need, I need a younger one. Yeah, well, you know. Just... I, th I think he'd be insulted, wouldn't he, if I, I took him would. Yeah, I won't do that. He does a lot of sleeping. <laughs> Friends of the Fulton County Public Library has a used book sale today, as usual, on the first, first Friday, Friday, 10 to 5. Uh, Band Crossroads performs from 7 to 8.30 p.m. today at the Fulton County Public Library. The band Night Shift will play a variety of 50s and 60s music. That's too old for you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know much. In the Akron downtown park okay. from 6.30 to 8.30 today. It's always permitting. a nice event. Yeah. Weather permitting. If it's raining. Okay. Yeah. Fulton County Fun Days Festival is tomorrow. It starts uh, a 5K race fun walk at 8.30 a.m. <clears throat> Tell us about that. Uh, that's, the, uh, that's the race that's in memory of Stephen Bruce Matice. All proceeds from that are used to add to the scholarship fund and the name given 
to a graduating Caston School senior. So there you go. It's uh, yeah. it's his race, <clears throat> and a lot of funds have been raised over the years. Yeah, and, the Matices uh, yes. uh, pretty much started that. <clears throat> they did. They did uh, several years ago. Manitou Moose Lodge hosts the Nick Patterson Memorial right. Concert Saturday tomorrow evening. night. Clayton Anderson. We're going to talk to him later this morning, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Right here, about ten fifteen or so. Is he going to be here? No, I think we're going to do it by phone. But we'll have him on the air nonetheless. Are you going to play something that he? Yeah, played? I got a couple of his songs. Have you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the one, one of them, the ones that we selected was uh, "Beer on a Boat on a Saturday." <laughs> well, you're, you're not supposed you got, to drink and, you got, and, and float you got, a boat. That, that's true. That's true. Okay. Is that one of these hits? Uh, sure. Okay. Rochester Dairy Queen donates 10% of sales from 4 to closing Monday to the Fulton County Habitat for Humanity. Tomorrow morning is Tire Collection Day at the Fulton County Solid Waste. Okay. Got any old tires laying around? Uh, I do not. I can go out along the roadside and find out. Probably. Applications are accepted for people interested in being members of the 2016-17 Fulton County Leadership Academy. In other words, uh, the Leadership Academy is taking uh, uh, applications, and it's really a good program. It is. A lot of good and, ideas. Uh, you can get more information that from the Purdue Co-op Cooperative Extension Service, right? right? Yep. Mark Kepler can yeah. give you information. Okay. June Brinkendorf uh, turns 100. Yeah, congratulations. You know who her brother was? No. Jack Overmeyer. Oh, really? No, I did not know that. Yeah, see. President Obama was 55 yesterday. He was, that's right. Did you celebrate that, Scott? I did not. <laughs> <laughs> no, no cake and ice cream? There was was it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. God. I didn't either. I, in fact, I didn't know it till today. So. Oh, okay. Athletic training professionals have deemed Rochester High School to be a cut above when it comes to safety. The school was awarded a first team safe sports school award from the National Athletic Trainers Association. Mrs. Vance mentioned that the other day. That's a nice award. Yeah, uh, nice. We got to keep the concussions. Down. Right. Also under flowers, Ann Allen, Tina Har Harmon, Lee Norris and Norman Wagner have been named as recipients of the Tippy Valley Legacy Award. Well done. Okay, in money news, it's kind of, kind of been a oh, oh hum. You know, it it usually is in August, isn't it? Yeah, it's the dog days yeah, of August. Right. right. You know, we talked about the dog days before. It's right. when old ship slept, but sleeps under the porch. Yeah. Because it's cool under there. That's right. It's in it. That's right. You know about that, Scott? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I've been under the porch with the dogs before. <laughs> I have. It's cool, isn't it? It is. Uh -huh. A little dirty, but nice and cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's not dirty. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the eyes of the beholder. Yes, sir. It's clean dirt. I like that. Back in England, uh, yesterday dropped their a key rate to 0.25 percent from 0 0.50. What does that mean? Uh, that means that uh, our chairman of the Fed is getting a lot of heat. Ah. Because uh, th things aren't going like she thought they would. No. Because she wants to raise rates. She does. Now, uh, but now if they're dropping, then that means... Yeah, well, that's because of the exodus. And right. Brexit. Well, I want to thank uh, Evan Gottschalk for setting in for me a, a couple weeks. I've been over to the Chautauqua. Yeah, over in Remington. Over in Remington, the only one left in the state of Indiana. Wow. And there aren't very many left in the, in the U.S. Of course, the granddaddy is at Chautauqua, New York. Okay. People want to know what the Chautauqua is. Well, it's it's a Where's, where's the uh, swimming pool? Where's the golf course? Where's the tennis court? We don't have any of that. We have swings, and we solve the problems of the world. Do you uh, do you allow cell phones? Yes. Okay. But no air conditioning or TVs. Oh, wow. Okay. 
<clears throat> we tried to outlaw cell phones, but they were sneaking them in. Oh, I see. <laughs> under the bed. Yeah. Good, including me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, first federal, come on down today. We're open till 5 o'clock. ATM is up and running. And, uh, of course, we got our new MasterCards out and you as you shared with me before yeah. we went on the air yours is working it works yeah mm -hmm. well you gotta have money in there but uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. that's why mine didn't work <laughs> <laughs> that's just okay. a slight problem yeah, it yeah. Is. <laughs> okay a uh, good time to still look at the refinancing rates stay low and continue to be low we're seeing a lot of construction lending uh, happening and that's really good sign for the community and for the economy that it's an indication that the economy is better it's an indication of the uh, improved attitude perception of the public that they're they're going ahead and building or adding on or uh, moving uh, and uh, so that's that's a good sign a friend of mine was uh, telling me he ran into Ben Dalton the other day Ben said he's been very busy yeah and John Schaefer right. and John Bill Morris too. yeah everybody we like being busy. That's right. Mm. That's right. We like the phone to ring and people to come in, mm. stop by. Hey, Thanks. can I do this? Can mm. I do that? All right. So if you're interested in pursuing that, see Ben Dalton here in Rochester or John Schaefer over at Winnemac. You can see uh, Bill Morris and <clears throat> Plymouth offices, Larry Falstead, mm -hmm. and and on and on and on. Okay. So Bremen, Mishawaka, and Elkhart. We have facilities. So. Borrowers must meet underwriting guidelines. A delivery fee will be applicable to the loan. Got to give that. Right. First Federal is FDIC insured and an equal housing lender, and our NMLS number is three nine or nine or nine or twenty seven. Right. Uh, okay. Legal. We got all that. Legal. <laughs> Welcome, Betsy Hines. We're, Thank you. We're glad to Hi. have you. You're the community wellness co coordinator. Yes, I am. So uh, you're, I'm assuming you're in favor of wellness. Yes, definitely. Okay. You got some uh, an, an event coming up. Tell us about that. Yeah, so we have the Rochester Active Living Workshop. We'll be focusing on the city of Rochester. Um, we're just going to work to plan for a better, healthier community. Um, the day is Thursday, August 18th at the Grace United Methodist Church here in Rochester. Um, some of the activities we'll be doing will include a walk audit, um, just best practices and strategies for, excess, for success, and at the end of the day, we want to identify some active living goals for the city of Rochester. Okay, give, give us the background. Where does this come from? Where's the funding come from? The um, funding was through, um, partly through Purdue, and then Health by Design in Indianapolis. So the day is completely paid for, and the community doesn't have any funds in this at all, and there's no registration fee. So if you're interested in attending, it is free. Um, you can contact me at the Extension Office to get more information, and there is an online registration. Okay, that's Betsy Hines. Yes, correct. And tell them your email address. My email is Hines, H-I-N-E-S, 21 at Purdue.edu. Okay, all right. I think any we'll... age? Yeah, any yeah, age. We're, um, we're definitely encouraging community leaders to attend, um, people that can make these changes in the community and make changes to infrastructure and have access to funding. So um, neighbors, city staff, um, anyone's encouraged to attend that okay. has a say in active living in the community or has an interest in that. Okay, well, all right, what, what are some of the things uh, that you're looking at that you've been in our community now a few months, uh, mm -hmm. what do you see? My focus is the low income population, so just looking at healthy food access and access to physical activity for them, so what like, do like gas what? stations offer as far as food, because we know a lot of them will go to the gas station to purchase their food. So just looking at that, looking at the school's wellness policies and what the schools are doing and how they can impact kids' health and um, just trying to make everyone in the community, I focus on Fulton County, um, just want everyone to live healthier lives and have access to physical activity and nutrition, no matter your income or um, where you live. Wow. 
That's a big job. Yes. <laughs> I, I thought that's what you went to a gas station for, it was a lot of <laughs> tickets food. and cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> We're trying to get some healthier options in there. Oh, p potato chips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, so, how was Rochester selected as one that you're doing this in just several small communities mm -hmm. throughout the state? Yeah, so um, people in my position in different counties throughout the state could apply through Purdue and then um, we are just selected because of our statistics as far as poverty and the low income population and um, just what we already have going on in the community kind of played a role that we already are looking at trails and different ways to improve living so we know that people in the county have an interest in it. So they saw that we could probably move forward with that and um, just make even more changes in the community if we had some so encouragement our, from an outside agent. Our statistics are not that good. No, okay. they are not. Okay. And I can't tell you the exact number at this right. time, but right. um, our county health rankings are very low. So compared to other counties in um, the state of Indiana only, we aren't ranked very well and our low income statistics are not very high either. Okay. Okay. And a lot of students at the schools are receiving free and reduced lunch all throughout the county. Well, I think statistically, uh, uh, Fulton County is high percentage-wise in obesity. Yes. In uh, tobacco. Yes. Which I can't focus on tobacco, but the obesity definitely plays a role in what I do. But now that's a nationwide trend, isn't it? I mean, it seems like high the things obesity, that you pick yeah. up in... Uh, USA Today or whatever, they, they indicate that nationwide our country is becoming more obese yeah. than what we have Yeah, been. definitely. So it's not just Indiana, right. not just our community, it's the United States yeah. as a whole. But we're going to try to do something about it, and that's a yeah. good thing. Sure. Yep, definitely. Yeah. However, I, I know the hospital's involved in this, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, Tell they us are. About that. Yeah, so the hospital had an interest in partnering. They have a wellness committee, and I had talked to them, and um, so they've helped me set it up. and. They just wanted to have a part in it, and the hospital is definitely a good partner to have in the community. So um, they helped me fill out the application, and um, just in preparation for the event, the um, Health by Design group will give the presentations that day, but we were in charge of setting the day up and getting all the logistical information figured Health out. Health by Design? Yes. Tell us about that group. They're a group out of Indianapolis and they just work on creating healthier communities around the state of Indiana. So they do a lot of these workshops throughout the state um, and just work with coalitions and different groups in Indiana to make healthier communities all throughout. Okay, we're speaking this morning to Betsy Hines who is the uh, Purdue Extension Community Wellness Coordinator for this project. It's coming up uh, August 18th at the Grace United Methodist Church, nine to four. Yes. That's long. Yes, it is. <laughs> but we're encouraging you to attend for the whole day, but if you aren't available to come all day, we definitely like for you to come for as long as you can. Um, I know a lot of people have things going on, but it would definitely be a benefit to people in the community, and definitely city leaders, to be able to be there the whole day and see the whole presentation by Health by Design. It's going to be a tough job. It's like, push, <laughs> yes. like pushing a wet string uphill. Slowly making progress. you got to change a lifestyle yeah. and thinking. And yeah. It's definitely long-term changes, but over the long term, we hope that these changes will bring down our obesity statistics and improve the community. You, know, you, you look around Rochester, and, and I guess one of the advantages we have is that we have the nickel plate trail. Yeah. We have the walking path, so you can bike or you can walk. Uh, we have the lake, so if you want swimming exercise, mm -hmm. you can certainly get that right because there. we have the public beach. We have two golf courses. So, I mean, there's a lot of opportunity already in yes, place right is. here if people just would take advantage mm -hmm. of it. Yep. And that day we're going to discuss what's already happening in Rochester and maybe some people just don't realize what we already have and hopefully then they can take advantage of the trails and exactly. the lake. Yeah. That's they, what they're for. And uh, see we got that new park coming out from the, the old city dump out on uh, north of town that, uh, that's been in progress right. for a long time. Right. That'll soon be de uh, dedicated to the parks board. Good.
Good. So that's another area to go. Mm -hmm. But and we, we do have a lot of nice parks. You know, oh, we, yeah. we have the city park. We yeah. have a lot of nice parks. Absolutely. The, the perception is everything. Mm -hmm. We we talk about that a lot, and you you've got to change the lifestyle. Yep. And that's Not your so job. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So we want to make these changes easier by um, providing the healthy food or providing the trails or bike routes downtown so that hopefully these choices are easier for them and they're not having to go out of their way to try to make healthier choices or making healthy food affordable so that they can make that decision if they want to. Pointing them in the right direction of where the, the healthy things are. Yes. You're making me feel bad that I did ride, <laughs> ride my bike in this morning. You were on it yesterday, though. I saw you buzzing around did yesterday. You? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I've ridden a bike for quite some time. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, you used to run marathons, too. Really? Yeah. yeah. When I was 20 pounds lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to tell us? I don't think so. Just encouraging the city staff and community leaders to attend this day. Um, register online they would like to know beforehand so we can set up so just be sure you register if you have any questions just contact me at the extension office where do we go online to register a uh, survey monkey link okay. so I can tell you the whole link it's kind of long but it's www.surveymonkey.com backslash r backslash Rochester ALW and if you need that link, I can send it to you by email. My email again is Heinz, H I N E S, 2 1 at purdue.edu. Scott, Scott's got all that down. He's been taking notes. <laughs> monkey. Yes. Survey Monkey. It's a free sure. survey yeah. um, database. Uh, they're very so. popular. Survey yeah. Monkey's used a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. You're welcome. Good Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, August the 18th, 9 to 4. And it's yeah. kind of important to register ahead, right? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Okay, uh, our trivia this morning. We, we had three of them. We had some. Yeah. yeah. Uh, when did the modern Olympic torch relay begin? 1900, 1936, or 1960? That's yours. 1900. 60. Neither one. No. Oh. <laughs> we blew that one. Too. Okay. Oh, for one, Scott. 36 was Berlin, was it not? Uh, yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. Hitler was there. Yeah, yeah. Jesse Owens. Jesse Owens showed yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Were you there? I was not, but I've studied it extensively. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, rugby is part of the Olympics this year, but when was the last time it was an Olympic event? 24, 54, or 84? All right, Scott. I'm going 54. 24. 24 is correct. Ah. Mm -hmm. How many years has it been since uh, golf was part of the Olympics? What were my choices on that? I didn't give you. Oh, any. I didn't get any. <laughs> How many years has it been? It's mm. been a long time. Okay, I do have three: <laughs> thirty-eight, nineteen thirty-eight, nineteen thirty, 1930, or eighteen ninety-eight. Oh wow, thirty-eight? No, we can't. Thirty-six. We had, so it would have been four years. <laughs> okay. I don't know. We don't know. We don't know. We don't Stump, know. You okay. stumped us. We you stumped us. That's right. Do do I get a prize or you something? You do. Okay. You do. All right. It's been 127 years. Wow. It was 1898. Wow. <clears throat> Before they even yeah. had golf. I think. Yeah, I guess so. so. Okay, Amazing. let's <clears throat> let's close with this uh, information from Pierre de Corbin. He was primarily responsible for revival of the Olympic Games in 1894. Okay, I wonder I what he'd say about this year's games. Okay, he says, back then, in 1894, <clears throat> the most important thing in the Olympic Games is not winning, but taking part. The essential thing in life is not conquering, but fighting well. <laughs> fighting well. We, we may be using that quote a lot in Rio this year. Depending on <laughs> yeah. the I thought that was a speech from a <laughs> halftime in a Boilermaker football game. <laughs> it may be this year, you never know. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll send it down to them. They could use it. <clears throat> Dick Belcher, thank you very much. Betsy, thank you for being here. Scott, thank as you. always, great to have you along on the first federal program. Thank you. Thank you.